Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Battletech. This game is set to come out on April 24th. We're getting an early look at it. Thank you very much to GOG for sending me this early key. It's developed by Harebrain Schemes, published by Paradox Interactive. Uh, if you purchase, if you pre-order this one on GOG, uh, you also get uh, Shadow One Returns for free as part of the deal. But this game is a, a turn-based... Uh, tactical strategy sort of game based on, of course, the Battletech universe, which we, of course, we all know about. Um, let's go ahead and jump in here. I have a feeling this is going to take me more than one video to properly cover, but um, we'll see what we can get done. See what we can get done today. So we'll jump into campaign mode and and, uh, and try this thing out. We get a bit of a story here. See what's all is going on. We may, if we get time, we'll check out the skirmish. That may we may save that for a later date. However, we will get a bit of a story here to start this thing off. I am Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Coromadir, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times. About the Star League. A golden age of prosperity. Upheld by the great mech warriors of old. Guardians of the innocent. Protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. Welcome to the Oregon Reach. The Oregon Reach is a small kingdom in the Rimworld periphery, the region in space that lies on the outskirts of the more densely colonized inner sphere is home to the Oregon Coalition, the federation organized around a par parliamentary monarchy ruled by the Arano family. For three generations under the rule of House Arano, the Oregon Coalition has remained a relatively peaceful corner of the periphery. It is here your story begins. Okay, so this uh, is going to seem a little bit overwhelming, but essentially we're choosing, there's a lot of lore here involved, but we're basically choosing our, uh, our beginnings and our, our stats really what's going on here, building our character sheet. We have several different factions that we could begin with, and you can see, depending on who we pick, the Free Worlds League. Mech warriors who hail from the Free Worlds League tend to be passionate, enduring fighters who value justice and equality above all else. We the Federated Sons, who are, uh, tend to possess more finely honed skills that are equipped than their counterparts from regions of other space. Uh, we got the Lyran Commonwealth, the Capellan Federation. I saw one here earlier called the, uh, the Torian Concordat, tend to be stubborn and aggressive. They're quick to anger, but they are nonetheless skilled and perceptive combatants. I like the sound of that one. But there's also the deep periphery. Uh, a rare, even rarer is the mech warrior who admit to such an origin. Mm. I'm going to go with the Torian Concord, because that seems to fit my sort of, I'm not quick to anger, but my, my play style. Stubborn and aggressive. I like the sound of that. How about, um, uh, blind? <laughs> is, that, is that in there too? All right, we'll choose that one. No immigrants in the Oregon Reach. Your family soon established a comfortable presence in a small backwater system on the edge of Oregon space. By the time you were born, your family had become the de facto ruling ability of the system's only inhabited planet. You were the oldest child, heir to the family's titles and ancestral battle mech, an old Blackjack BJ-1. This is where you met Raju Mastiff Montgomery, a veteran of the Succession Wars, whom your parents hired on a season to train you as a mech warrior. 
Raju was a strict but capable teacher, and you quickly became unskilled, a, a skilled pilot under his tutelage. It was an eventful, uneventful life. All right, until the day after your 16th birthday, when I was exiled, which means plus one gunnery, plus one tactics. Gunnery gives me the chance to hit with ranged weaponry. Tactics gives me effectiveness in called shot opportunities. Struck out on your own. We get piloting and tactics. Piloting gives me a melee chance and base sprint distance. Uh, family went bankrupt. Guts gives me maximum health of mech warriors. I want some of that one. Family died in an accident. We get piloting and guts. Family was betrayed. We get gunnery and guts. Mm, chance to hit with ranged weaponry and... Yeah, I like this one. Family was betrayed. Out on your own, you fell into the life of a... Oregon Coalition soldier, plus one gunnery. Frontier pirate for guts. Solaris gladiator gunnery. We enter sphere mercenary, frontier freelancer, or a merchant guard. Um... Let's go with the uh, coalition. Well, you know, pirate sounds okay. Let's go with pirate. Plus one guts. Until years later, you cross paths with Raju Mastiff Montgomery once again. After years of roaming the frontier, your outfit's luck eventually ran out, landing you in an Oregon coalition prison. Hearing of your bad turn of fortune, Raju dragged you out of jail, giving you a second chance under his mentorship. After heavy, heavy re rehabilitation, you proved your worth and were inducted into the House Arano Grill Guard. So it is you that find yourself... Reunited with your old mentor, preparing your ancestral blackjack for guard duty on the coronation day of Lady Kam uh, Kamiya Arano. All right, who do I look like? My nick, uh, my my call sign is is Nukria. My name is going to be Mackenzie Nook. How about wait, what else we can do here? How about how about just Jimmy? Jimmy Nook. How do I look as a Jimmy Nook? I am a I am a he. I should say. Um, I'll have to look at that guy. That guy looks alright. We can customize this even more, though. We come in here, we can change. Uh, we can change our tattoos around. We can change. Uh, I don't know, makeup, uh, hairstyle. Um. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that guy's fine. Uh, but my hair color. Uh, okay. The lighting. Oh, check that out. Okay. Camera? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Complexion? I'm um, sure. I like that one better. Okay. Works for me. There's Jimmy Nook right there. All right. Next we go. So there's my background. There's my skills. There's Jimmy Nook. Confirm. And we got an achievement. Great. Hi, Lord. Tamadi Arano too is dead. The organ reach is left at an uncertain crossroads. Once prosperous, it is now a kingdom in decline, surrounded by powerful neighbors. Lord Santiago Espinoza, brother-in-law to the late High Lord, is convinced that the slow-moving Council of Funding Houses must be dissolved. His proposed directive would constrict their house guard and centralize power under a single throne. However, the High Lord's heir, the noble Lady Camilla Arano, is determined to rebuild the Reach without transforming it into an authoritarian state. She refuses to enact her uncle's directive and has rebuked his vehement pleas to reconsider. On the morning of Lady Orano's ascension to the throne, her loyal captain of the guard, Raju Mastiff Montgomery, prepares, makes preparations to escort her safely to the coronation procession that awaits in Cordia City. And that's where we pick up. A bit of a tutorial. Coronation Day, Orano Summer Palace, 853. Alright, let's begin this mission. Command interface initiated. Okay, WASD, around the screen. Gotcha. Right mouse button or Q and E to rotate. Gotcha. Okay, Nukrim, this is, uh, I had Espinoza refit yards, rush the repairs on your blackjack. Looks like it's all one piece, but we should run some diagnostics on it, just to be sure. Standard field test, you know, the drill. More importantly, though, I want to tell you more about the job I brought you here to do. Now, do me a favor and get that metal mech moving. Let's see if there are any kinks in the actuators. Actuators. Okay, click on my portrait. I'll come right out and say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's gonna be more to this job than escort duty. Oh, yeah, look how close we can get. Brought you here because there's something wrong in the capital. It's been too quiet since Lord uh, Tamati's funeral, and I'm worried Lady Kamea's safety during her coronation procession. 
Anyway, look at your actuators checked out. Looks like they did. Uh, let's conduct a weapons test. Target one of those burnout old urban mechs and open fire. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything. But my gut tells me something's mm, yes. off. And a warrior trusts their instincts. Mm-hmm. Look at that thing. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're gonna blow something up, so let's let's do that. Let's go into attack mode and shoot that guy. Uh, we can select oh, we can select where we want to shoot. We can select what weapons we want to fire. Yeah, fire them all. Well, that was satisfying. Enemy mech destroyed. Good shot. Your guns are in working order. At least we should run a ca uh, calibration check on your tactical computer. See that drone over there? The one moving through the tree line. Target it for me and open fire. And right over there. Okay. I've been training Lady Arano since she was 14 years old. She can be naive at times and proud, but I have no doubt that she'll be just uh, a just and effective ruler. It's on us to see her safely to Corgia City. I'll rest easier when she's in the capital with her cousin Victoria by her side. Lady Victoria, well, she's only been training under me for a single season, but she's already shaped herself into one of the strongest mech warriors I've ever seen. Reminds me a lot of you, told, truth be told. Anyway, finish that drone off in the rear angle shot, and we'll keep moving. Camilla's like a daughter to me, and her late father, High Lord Tamati, was a good friend. Okay, attack. That guy. So can I, um... Oh, I see, we're, we got the reds. We're going to be firing and hitting them from the side. Fire everything. Structure, I suppose. I think the trees were giving him a bit of cover. Let's see this again. Victoria pulls no punches, but she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have see. My Yeah, he's got, uh, force gives him, slows his movement and gives him some cover. And has the cover because, because of the forest. Okay, weak against melee. Now we're hitting the back, though. There we go. Shot? No, I don't know how familiar you are with Oregon politics, but the reach was badly shaken by High Lord Tamati's death. It needs a smooth transition, uh, transfer of power, and Kamea belongs on the Cormoran throne. Go ahead and fire up your jets, kid. Uh, I want to see you descend this cliff face. Aim for that patch of ground there, near the edge of the lake. Alright, we're going to jump there, and face that way. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. This is my heat bar right there. Plasma leak detected. Jump jet malfunction. Jump jet systems damage. System inoperable until repaired. I love all the gods. This is what we get for insisting on a rush job. I thought I had much of a choice. Yes, but those refit yards are backlogged like you wouldn't believe me. Believe. It looked like they were trying to process every single Royal Guard mech in time for the coronation. There isn't any time to get your jets replaced, so we're going to have to make do without them. Go ahead and take that mech down with a melee attack. I'm sure nothing else is going to break down on your blackjack before we get to the Cormorant Road. Okay, V to suck on melee. All right. That guy right there. So I want to... Attack. Mm -hmm. Good hit. At least that's solid. All right. One last test. I want you to take your blackjack up to a sprint and evade my attack. Push that engine, kid. If something goes wrong today, I want to know that your mech can maneuver. Sprint up here. An evasion bars right there. Congratulations, your black is as combat ready as it can be, given the circumstances. For what it's worth, I hope that my suspicions turned out to be unfounded, and we end the day having a good laugh about the paranoid old man I've become. But if not, then I know you'll be ready. All right, time to move out. Lady Arano is waiting for us at the mech bay. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit.
I'll not be introduced. Camille Arano, soon to be High Lady of Oregon Coalition. Lady Victoria on this channel. For the time being, my father has summoned me to the Picton docks. I have a fleet inspection and a tour of the family refit yards to preside over before the coronation. Behold the responsibilities of a noble daughter, a fount of tedium that never runs dry. I know the feeling, cousin. By this time tomorrow, I'll be responsible for the entire reach. Give my best to your father and don't be late for the tourney. Gambling dens are already taking bets on how long it'll take me to cripple that customized monstros monstrosity you pilot. Bold words, cousin. The only victory you'll be they'll be celebrating is mine. You may be ascending to the throne today, but my Kaga is more than a match for the family heirloom, and you call a battle mech. Is that in that arena? Reign I reign supreme. See, cousin, we'll see. At any rate, I will see you at the tourney grounds. So, Raju, I'm ready when you are. Overland, along the Cormorant Road, as this is Arano tra tradition. Hi, Camilla. We'll get you there in one piece. Nucrium, fall in behind me. And remember what I told you. Mission successful. There we go. I remember the Oregon Reach of old. The time of the Great Expansion. I was just a boy then. Proudly we went forth, bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. And for what? To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? Year after year, the council deliberates while our economy falters, and the wolves bay at every door, while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say, it can go no further. We are here today because if Lady Arana will not act, someone must. I know what I'm asking of you. You will face former comrades, or even loved ones, on the battlefield. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, Today, we sacrifice so that tomorrow, we can return our kingdom to its proper glory, to its proper strength. So should you fall tonight, know that you did so as true heroes of the Reach. To your stations, for the Directorate! Civil War time. I have a team now. Commander Mastiff, Camilla, and myself. I'm gonna miss this, Raju. The clarity of purpose that I feel in the cockpit of a battle mech. Simplicity of it. But there they are, just up ahead, the city gates, and my future all laid out before me. What? What's that smoke? A guard post. One of them small ones that dot the roads leading to the capital. But the emergency band's been quiet all morning. I haven't heard anything about any fire. This is damned odd. And I don't like it. Okay, so we can sensor lock, we can multi-target, brace, anything. move, attack. We're going to go ahead and just sprint where it tells us to go for now. Face that way. Same thing for me. Move on up. I'm, I am supposed to clarify that this is beta, clearly, and so there may be some bugs or some, some, uh, not everything's all laid out just yet. Camino you know, Arano, some sort of explosion. Looks recent, too. You think it was an accident? No chance. You see those scorch marks on the rubble? That's laser fire. We need to get you out of here, Camilla, right now. Yes, I think you're right. That's a patrol of Royal Guard mechs up ahead. We should go to them. Whatever's happening here, I won't let it derail your coronation. Your people need you. Thank you, Raju. I will um, prove myself worthy of okay. Um, I feel like we should take the high road. I'm on the I will go, um... I'll go the back way. <laughs> I was able to customize my mech, my, my looks of my mech, uh, before I started recording this. I should have picked some better colors. Can you sprint any faster? Okay, let's go 
we'll rendezvous with him. I have a bad feeling about this. Affirmative. Hail, Master. Hail, Lady Arano. We are preparing for Lady Arano's coronation parade when we got word of this disturbance along the Cormorant Road. Cormorant Road. The guard post behind us was attacked. Sir Raju found evidence of a laser fire. Is the road behind you clear? Aye. Right. All the way to the southern gate. Lead the way, Sir Raju. We'll find him behind you and guard your six. Tell me something, guardsman. If the road is clear, why is your battle mech damaged? Our mechs are overdue for maintenance. But that isn't important right now. We need to worry about Lady Arano's safety. Now, my lady, if you will come with us. You're lying to us. It's my coronation day. No mech, uh, mech tech would send you out here for parade duty in that condition. I am your sovereign, sir. You will tell me what happened here. Damn it, girl. We don't have time for this. Take them. Kill the old man and the mech warrior, but take Lady Arano alive. Fall back, Kamea. Get behind us. You didn't train me to cower, Rashu. You trained me to fight. Safety you gonna melee me? Not cool. All friendlies must must survive. Okay, we can do that. All right, so it is uh, How can I help? Mastiff. I want you to mow down. Uh, can you just mow down this guy? You can melee him. You know, yeah, just do it. Sure. Okay, take that, buddy. That was damage. Oh, there you go. Knocked out. Nice. Nice. Okay, so once the combat phase begins, then we sort of go into a, uh, a turn order. You see that there? I wonder if I can get Nook up here on this uh, on this hillside here. Can I get you to go? I can't jump. Um, yeah, just go right here. And then I want you to mow that guy down. Get a good shot on him? Yeah, go for it. A lot of trees in the way, but just mow the trees down. You gotta hit him, buddy. And shot the building. I'm listening. So we could... No, we gotta take out this guy. Yeah, this guy right here. Uh, do you want to stay right there? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Just mow him down. Charging weapon. Man, it's very satisfying. I've got your back. Can I just continue mowing this guy? Do we want to deal with him? No, we're going to deal with this guy over here. I feel he's more of a threat. Can you not get him? Yeah, there we go. Aye, aye. Dang, oh, I did melee. Went. Whoops. <laughs> he missed. <laughs> Well, okay. He's missing an arm already, so what can he do? You guys gonna hop back up. Apparently going to run away. Ow. That was my side. Alright. Uh Nook. I'm gonna let you oh, you know what? I'm going to let her have this one. Standing by. Uh, this guy. I want you to uh, not melee. I want you to, to attack. Can you not attack? Oh, you can't because you're not facing that way. Okay. Uh, yeah, fine. Stay on this one. He's, a, he's having a bad day. There he goes. My heat sinks can't keep up. Okay, so me now. Can I fire at him? Yes. You can. No, you can't. Just face like that. Okay, now you can attack. 
Fire everything. Hmm, there we go. Let's say that looked a little uh, uh, unsatisfying, but that was okay. Super low. <laughs> what is that? Okay, your turn, buddy. Talk to me. Yep. Uh, I want you to attack him. Let him have it. Well done. Battle neck down. Okay, her heat's a little high, so I'm gonna have to maybe melee with her. Or uh, just reserve her turn. Tell me what you need. Yeah, she's a little hot. Uh, so let's just let's just turn here, face him, and we're going to just brace. There you go. And then I finish mowing him down All from above. Camille? Camille, can you hear me? Alexander, we were just attacked. The Royal Guard, my own guardsmen, tried to take me prisoner. It's happening here, too. The Royal Guard are killing one another in the halls. Lord Carosa's Car uh, house guard had just gunned down in front of me. The tourney pavilion is in is a slaughterhouse. I won't let these seditionists, or whoever they are, steal my birthright. We need to rally every loyalist we can find and make a push on the capital. I'll take my throne by force if I must. Go to Rotorua Township, to the armory. Your soldiers are using it as a rallying point. I heard Lord Decimus since, uh, sent his house guard there a few minutes ago. Someone's here. I have to move. Rally what forces you can and meet me at the tourney grounds. Be safe. Here in Mastiff uh, Rotorua Township. We'll go there, rally our fighters, and march on the southern gate with an army at our back. Camille, I know that you and Lord Madeira are friends, but we can't take what he told you on faith. Right now, we don't know who we can trust. In this case, we do. Alexander's been my closest friend and confidant for as long as I can remember. His loyalty is beyond question. I trust him with my life, and yours. I'll take me to my armory. Did you command? Traitors in the guard. And I fear this is only the beginning. Follow me. Keep close and remember your training. Things are likely to get ugly between here and there. Okay, let's move on. Uh, we're going next. We go ahead and this. Where are we going? That way. Okay. Continue sprinting over here. Sure. Confirmed. Oh, we got one. Heads up. We've got company. Um, let's hang out behind this building here. No? How about we go over here? Copy that. I will go right here. Uh, whew, I must have hit the wrong button. You've got my attention. Can you um just stand in the middle here and mow him down? You're tough. Roger that. Poor tactical Training choices. That's what we do. Can you hit and fire on him? Sure. Roger that. Oh, nice. Okay, no problem. Vehicle down. The poor bastards. Look, get up here. Heat's a little high, but that should go down pretty quick. I hear you. Um, yeah, step up here and you can do the same thing that he I'm just did. Discharging weapons. Yeah, I didn't quite get it. Don't oh, we got more out here. Oh, 
none of that. Maybe the walk down the road approach may not be our, our best. It's like the first mission. I'm sure it's fine. Orders. Um, yeah, you know what? Just move on up down the road. And uh, yeah, go for it. Go for the striker. Confirmed. <laughs> I guess I didn't have to fire everything at the strike. Brave, I'll give you that much. You just made a terrible mistake. Uh oh, I think we're getting cocky. Uh, Nook, why don't you come on up here? Oh, you, can you shoot things if you get there? I think you can. Yeah, you can. All weapons there we go. Nice. See, I'm part of this battle. I'm not just tagging along and hiding in the trees. You have my attention. Let's go up here. Oh, we see one over there. Yeah, high up, up to the hills this time. It'll be crafty like. Tree sway. Another enemy casualty. Uh, yeah, we're going all the way. Fall in behind me. Out of combat now, so Sounds we can good. all move together. I really like that sort of thing. Is there, I'm sure, surely there's some other games that do, that do this, but rather than having XCOM where you, I like a game like XCOM where you have to individually move every time, you can sort of throw everyone in there when there's no combat. Um, Copy that. Save save a lot of time for those of us like me that are very in incredibly impatient. Uh, come here, come here. Do you read me? It's Espinosa, your uncle. Do you hear me? House Espinosa is up is usurping the throne. It can't be my uncle, Victoria. Come here. I just watched an Espinosa battle mech plow through an alley full of civilians. This is happening, and it's happening now. Your loyals have fallen back to the market district. That's where they are making their stand. What's left of the royal guard? are doing their best, but there's something wrong with their battle mechs. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, guns. Oh, my. Alexander! Yeah, pick up the pace. No, get up there. It's over, Camille. Your ascendancy, the Irano legacy, all of it. Victoria, what have you done? You know, Camille, for years, I loved you like a sister. But then my father helped me see it. Your family's com complacency, what it's done for the Reach. Our nation dwindles like a dying star, and House Arano is to blame. My father offered you a path to glory. I'd have fought under your banner proudly, served as your strong right hand. It was like a knife in my heart when you turned him away. Damn it, Victoria, I taught you better than this. You taught me lies, Kamea. For the love that I once bore you, I'm going to give you a chance to surrender. I'll even spare an old the old man and his mech warrior. If you stand down now, I don't want to see you hurt, but you cannot allow be allowed to rule. I'll see you hanged for this, Victoria. You and your father both, do you hear me? You are traitors to the Reach, and I will fight you to the last. And you truly are a fool. I'll spare you in spite of yourself, but you've cost your royal escort their lives. Okay, well, we've got to put a cut in here somewhere, and I think this is probably the place to do it. So, we're going to call it right here, and, um... This will be uh, the end of the first episode. Thanks again for watching. We'll certainly continue this uh, at least one more episode to, to see where this goes. And then we'll show off the, commer the skirmish next time also. Thanks again for watching. Again, this game is coming out on April 24th. But you can pre-order it if you wish on GOG. And get Shadow One Returns for free. I'll put a link below and you can check it out. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.